Every dog owner dreams of a reliable recall. Imagine being stress-free on walks, knowing your furry friend will return to you with a happy wag, no matter the temptation. This dream can become reality. While achieving a perfect recall takes time and consistency, there are ways to significantly speed up the process. This guide will unveil the fastest way to train your dog for a rock-solid recall, focusing on positive reinforcement and building a strong association between the come, cue, and something truly exciting for your dog. The secret sauce, high-value rewards. Here's the key, forget generic treats. Identify your dog's absolute favorite reward, something they can't resist. This might be freeze-dried liver, bits of cooked chicken, or a super special toy. These high-value rewards become your secret weapon in building a powerful connection between the come command and something truly delightful. Step 1. Setting the stage for success. 1. Location, location, location. Start training in a quiet, controlled environment with minimal distractions. Your living room or a fenced-in backyard are ideal starting points. This minimizes distractions and allows your dog to focus on you. 2. Leash up for safety. Always keep your dog on a leash during training, especially when outdoors. This ensures their safety and allows for gentle corrections if needed. 3. Positive vibes only. Maintain a happy and enthusiastic demeanor throughout the training sessions. Use a high-pitched, excited voice when issuing the come cue. You want your dog to associate the command with fun and positive experiences. Step 2. Building the foundation. 1. Name recognition is key. Before diving into recall, ensure your dog reliably responds to their name. Say their name in a happy tone while offering a treat or petting them. Repeat frequently throughout the day. 2. Short distances and big rewards. Start by holding a high-value treat in front of your dog's nose. Then, take a small step back and say their name followed by an enthusiastic, come. When your dog approaches, shower them with praise and the treat. 3. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Practice this exercise multiple times per training session, keeping the repetition short and sweet. The focus is on building a positive association, not exhausting your dog. If you are interested in other dog training videos, check out some of our playlists and discover even more information about dogs. Step 3. Gradually increase the difficulty. 1. Variable rewards. To prevent your dog from becoming treat dependent, start incorporating random, jackpot, rewards. Sometimes offer a high value treat, other times a regular treat, or even just enthusiastic praise. This keeps your dog guessing and engaged. 2. Increase distance. As your dog consistently responds at short distances, gradually increase the space between you. Start by taking two steps back, then three, and so on. Remember, reward every successful recall generously. 3. Change up the delivery. Don't always offer the treat directly from your hand. Sometimes toss it a short distance for your dog to chase and retrieve. This adds a fun element to the training. Step 4. Introducing distractions, the fun part. 1. The playful distraction. Once your dog masters recall with minimal distractions, it's time to introduce them in a controlled way. Have a friend or family member hold a squeaky toy while you practice the come cue. If your dog successfully returns, reward lavishly and then allow them to play with the toy for a short burst. 2. The yummy distraction. While your dog is sniffing the ground on a leash, drop a few high-value treats on the floor a few feet away. Say, come, excitedly and praise them for returning to you instead of investigating the treats. Reward them with a treat from your hand. Step 5. Generalization. Taking it to the real world. 1. Start slow and safe. The real test comes in progressively more distracting environments. Begin by practicing recall in your backyard with more stimuli, then gradually venture out to quiet parks or controlled off-leash areas. 2. Be prepared to leash up. If your dog hesitates in a distracting environment, don't be afraid to leash them up and shorten the distance. 
The goal is to set them up for success and gradually build confidence. 3. Emergency Recall Word. Consider introducing a separate, high-value, emergency recall word for situations like a squirrel chase or a barking dog. This word should have an even higher value treat attached to it. Reserve this word for truly urgent situations and practice it diligently in a controlled environment. Thanks for watching the video. Do you want to be a good pack leader and stop your dog's behavioral problems for good? Check out the first link in the description and get your dog training video series absolutely free. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dog-related content. See you next time.